Look how gorgeous. These bitches didn't think it was a real tree. I was shocked. Who are you calling a bitch? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I just got my nails done. Let's take a look. We're going to drop off some clothes to donate. We are going to get a Christmas tree and I need to ship off some Depop packages later. So let's go. But first, check out my nails. Look how cute I did a... I did a gold chrome tip on a like a French manicure. This is just like my natural nail, but I did gel so they last long and I don't bite my nails because I have a habit of biting my nails when I have anxiety. They did gold chrome powder on the tip and then they just did a clear polish. It's been a couple days and I really, really like them. I did the silver, but the silver didn't really last that long because it was a polish. However, this powder chrome that they put underneath the gel has lasted. Festivity. Don't mind my ho wait, which one's mine? This one. Don't mind my hoard in the back. <laughs> we just got, what did we get? La La Land Cafe. Be Kind. Also, there's a filter on this video. Don't know what. Kalina! Ooh. Kalina's here. Mm. Gingerbread latte. We're going to get a tree. I want to show you guys my lip. I use this little NARS lip pencil in the shade Dolce Vita Lifestyle. You copied my Dolce Vita Lifestyle. It was a free gift at Sephora. I do a little. Kind of in the middle. And then I do a little bit of the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I've been using this for years, but it's all of a sudden like a big trend. Trendsetter. And it gives you just like a beautiful, bitten Victorian child lip. Winifred Sanderson vibes. Do you love? I love. Also, my lips are real. This little twink called me Lisa Rinna the other day in a comment, which I love. I, I, I honestly, that's very complimentary, but no, my lips are real. I don't have fillers. I don't have Botox. I don't have anything. People pay to look like this. Don't be nasty on the internet. Let's go get a tree, dear, shall we? We shall. Yes, please. We're here and we're being followed around by a guy who works here. Like we're gonna shoplift. And he's like a seven foot tall Russian man. I'm like, Jesus Christ, give me some space. I need the tree to come to me. I mean, look how. We're stealing trees. Look how gorgeous everything is. There's a tree down there that is spray painted black with literal gold foil. It's shocking. Look at this tree. I feel like this one will be great, right? It's stunning. How stunning. Okay, this is an option. Also, this is an option, which is so beautiful. Did I change my mind and have him take the tree off the car and put a new one on? Yes. Yes. <laughs> my lips, Lisa Rinna. <laughs> we got it, boys. Where is it? Oh my god. Can't even see it. It's up there. It's up there. Yes, I am shipping out a bunch of my Depop items that I have for sale. I will link them here. I have so many coats and cozy things. Barely used some brand new with tags. But these are a few that are going out today. A little personalized note for everybody. Thanks for shopping my closet. From my closet to yours. Happy holidays. I have this cute one. There it is. And... I spritz everything with my favorite holiday cologne, which is Penhaligon's Halfetti. It's very smoky, very, it's a beautiful fragrance. I love this, but I'm going to ship these guys out. So thank you guys for supporting the Depop, and I'm excited to see you guys in my gently worn slash new clothes. And there's a sale going on. Everything on my Depop store is 20% off, so click the link down below in my description to go shop and find you some goodies. Good morning, it's the next day. The tree is so beautiful. I just gave it a fresh cut, but let's take a look at her. So it's eight feet tall. It's, it's slanted right now, but look how beautiful these branches are. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted like a nice firm, strong branch that can take ornaments and lights. Oh, it's so pretty. This is the vintage tree stand that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. It's so heavy, you guys. It's beautiful though. I guess it's from like the 60s. 70s and yeah it's gonna be great when you're handling a tree make sure to have gloves on because you will get sap all over your hands and it'll just tear up your hands as it did with mine for all of my years this is the first year i'm really using gloves and i used this saw right here to give it a fresh cut so i cut off about an inch and the thing about trees even when you buy it at a a tree farm they could have been sitting there for weeks and you it's really important to bring it home give it a fresh cut and get it right in water you're going to want to feed it a little bit of sugar or they even sell like the little bottles of like tree saver or whatever follow the directions usually a tree drinks about a gallon of water a, a, a day 
So make sure you're feeding it, make sure you give it a fresh cut before putting it into your tree basin. Hi, sweetie. She's so sweet and her mom is right here. The house is a mess, but there's a little preview of Christmas, the Christmas tree. I still have stuff, no, no, no. I still have stuff coming in, but I'm going for a very vintage, like European traditional vibe this year. These are these really cute candlesticks. They're actually, you put a battery in here and they're also battery operated. The dogs in the neighborhood. I got those on Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. And then we're doing ribbon, but like beautiful lace, lots of textures. This one's also from Amazon. This beautiful, like earthy suede color. And then I have this beautiful brown velvet. I also got for my Pura, which is a like scent diffuser. This one's from Nest New York in collaboration with Pura. This one's Birchwood Pine. I love this candle, so it's nice to be able to have these on when I when I'm not home. And then this one is called Hearth, which I have been burning since last year, and I love it. It's very smoky. Look at her! Look at the tree. She fits perfectly. I still need to zhuzh it up a little bit, but I'm here. Let me get a little closer. She's beauty. Oh, she's so lush. Hi guys! So I just went to Erewhon as the number one Erewhon hater, self-branded. I believe it is my duty to go and test the things that you shouldn't be spending your money on. Waste my money, don't waste yours. Let me do it. I am the people's prince and I'm here to serve. So I got the Balenciaga X Erewhon drink. It's essentially charcoal lemonade. It has organic Granny Smith apple, organic lemon, organic ginger, organic maple syrup, activated charcoal powder, organic cinnamon powder, and it says Best Buy 12.6. It retailed for $14. It came out today. Erewhon and Balenciaga have a collab. They put out merch that's insanely overpriced. This is the cheapest thing that they had at $14, so I went out and got it, and we're going to taste test it right now. Okay, it smells like lemonade. And it tastes like lemonade with ginger in it. Nothing special. That's exactly what I was expecting it to be, just an overpriced bevy. But here we are. This is what I'm here for. So $14 down my drain and not yours. But if you guys are interested in seeing my full review, you can go over to my TikTok, just at Mr. Prada. I'm also doing Vlogmas on TikTok that I'll re-upload to uh, YouTube Shorts if you guys are interested in seeing that. But definitely go follow my TikTok. I'm posting literally every single day there, sometimes even twice a day. And it's a lot of fun stuff. We go shopping, I take you on hikes, we do Christmas decor, and it's fun. I like doing that long form content just in like selfie mode because I feel like it's, I can do it like at all times versus like whipping out a camera. I don't really like vlogging in public like that. So I like it. I'm seeing how it feels. And also it's helping. I get seasonal depression and it's really helping like keep me, my brain like activated and busy throughout the day and happy. I get those like little bursts of um, joy while I'm filming for you guys. I went and I got some ornaments at Aldick. A-L-D-I-K. I've taken you guys there before in the past. It's where like all the celeb designers go in LA and they get their Christmas decor. Uh, they also have like silk plants and like other non-holiday decor as well and faux plants. But I got a, I got some garland and I got some ornaments. I did a blush and champagne in different sizes. Everything there is 30% off, 40% off now if you're a designer, I believe in LA. But I got this stuff from my friend Madeline. I'm doing her tree just really, really quick. We're doing it together. It's not like a full on thing. And then I'm doing her mantle. But yeah, we're gonna do that. And then I'm dropping this off at her house. Ooh, I need to pee. So I'm gonna go inside and go pee real quick. And then we're gonna go vintage shopping because I saw a really cute outfit the other day. And hopefully if it's still in the window, we're gonna go get it. Okay, thrift shopping was successful. However, they didn't, the t-shirt was a small, even though it looked quite large and it was a vintage Playboy shirt and it wasn't vintage. I found it on Depop for $10. It was actually a Playboy X Plaque Sun, Plaque Sun, Pack Sun, which came out forever ago with Pack Sun, I guess. And I found it on Depop for $10 and the store was selling it for 60. Scam, but the pants, I'll show you later, are actually Polo Ralph Lauren, they were $50. I'll have to get them taken in and the jacket, um, I didn't get because I can find a better one on Facebook Marketplace, I'm sure. But I just got a little snack. I got this, I went to my favorite Taiwanese place in, I think it's Echo Park. I got a Thai tea boba with oat milk, but it's not regular, it's not Thai tea powder. It's just like the tea bags and they do boba. And I got a side of greens and some beef. And I'm just gonna eat in my car because I'm so hungry. 
feel like I'm gonna pass out. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. So the beef with the baby bok choy, chopsticks, and some chili paste on top. I only do chili paste on half because I still like to have the beef with just the regular seasonings. Mmm. So simple but so good. Storm, you can't have any. If you guys live in LA, come to Joy in Echo Park. It's so good. I dropped off a bunch of clothes today to be donated at the West Hollywood Out of the Closet. Supports LGBTQ youth in the area, which is lovely. Also, if you ever, if you're in WeHo, definitely shop there. It's amazing. This is dinner. I'm gonna go home. I also got donuts. Vegan donuts from Donut Friend. See you guys at home. Okay, so Donut Friend is my fave. They're actually all vegan. This is a glazed. This is an old fashioned with a maple drizzle. This is matcha. And this is pumpkin. We're gonna do a taste test. Yes, we are. I cut it into fours, so it's technically only one donut I'm eating right now. This is the matcha. It's just like a plain donut. Oh, that's healthy. Ah, 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 get down. Thing one and thing two. They're so cute. Hunter Lynn, Montana. Okay, it tastes real healthy, but it's very delicious. I will give that a six out of 10. Just cause I feel like matcha is like a religious ceremonial thing. I feel like that should just be in matcha, you know? Pumpkin spice crumble. Mmm. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Delicious. Crunchy top layer. Beauty. Mmm. This is the old fashioned. Oh, I'm a slut for maple. Maple anything. Growing up on the East Coast. If you're from the East Coast, you know you know. Maple candies. Maple syrup. Maple in your coffee. This is giving me, like, coffee cake vibes. 9 out of 10. Classic glazed. Go pillowy. For me, nothing will beat a classic glazed. Oh, that's lovely. 10 out of 10. I'm like a hog in bed right now. I love to eat in bed. It's so comforting. Well, I'm gonna shower, do a little skincare, watch a little Six Feet Under on Netflix, my favorite show. And then we'll see you guys in the morning. We're going on a hike. See you there. Do you know that you can actually hike to the top of the Hollywood sign? Have you ever wanted to go? Well, you're in luck, I'm gonna take you. I usually do this hike about two to three times a week, starting off in Beechwood Drive. The original sign used to actually say Hollywood Land, and today marks 100 years since the Hollywood Land sign was built. It was actually built to promote the Hollywood Land Realty Company, and a lot of the beautiful original homes still exist today. These are a few of my favorite homes in the area, all dating back to the 1920s. I think this one is actually my favorite. Reminds me of Hocus Pocus. These are the Beechwood Steps. There's actually six sets of them. They were built when the land was developed here so neighbors could get around a little easier, but they're a great workout today. These two huskies are so cute. Every single time we walk by, they're just waiting for Storm to say hi. Walking up Beechwood, you'll want to take Linforth Drive and hike all the way up, and you can start seeing a view of the Griffith Park Observatory. There's my mom. Hi, mom. And starting to see a beautiful view of downtown LA. Continuing up Linforth Drive, you see the first peak of the Hollywood sign, and it is so gorgeous. This neighbor sells bottled water and vintage t-shirts on the weekends. This access gate is usually open, but if you just go around the corner, you can get through the walkway gate until dawn. And the views are absolutely stunning. If you do bring your dog, make sure to keep him off leash, because I've had to talk my way out of a few finds here. There's my mom taking some selfies, per use. And the views just keep getting better and better as you hike up. This is the telecommunications tower at the top of Mount Lee. It was actually once supposed to be an estate owned by Howard Hughes, but he actually sold it off when he broke up with his girlfriend, Ginger Rogers. And if you're in the mood for a biking workout, you can do that too. This is the first view of the sign with sweeping views of the Hollywood Reservoir. And on a clear day, you can see into Malibu, Santa Monica, and Calabasas. This view is absolutely stunning, but if you keep going a couple hundred feet, there's even a better one at the top. Fun fact, this entire area went on the market in 2008 for $22 million. But with the help of Hugh Hefner, it was purchased by the Public Land Trust for $12 million, and now it belongs to the people. The hike is under three miles from the Beachwood Cafe, but the views are totally worth it. My favorite time to hike the sign is right after sunset. It's so magical. Was it worth it? It was. Scale of 1 to 10, how hard was it? Well, at your speed for me was like a 7. Okay, how's your hip? Is it broken? It's not broken, it's half broken.
Okay, we're going for another six miles. <laughs> you guys, it's boys' night. Uh, we're doing our family dinner. It is Monday night. And uh, yeah, I'm at the Grove right now, which is hell. But I feel like it's time for some holiday spirit. Today's hike was lovely. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I had a really full day, so it's nice to just catch up with the boys. Uh, I haven't seen everybody, honestly, since I've been back from Italy. Um, so it'll be nice to catch up with uh, Manny, Gabriel, and Z. So we're going to go walk around the Grove, do a little light holiday shopping, and go to Cheesecake Factory because I haven't been there in years. The Chicken Madeira, it's fabulous. Um, but yeah, let's go. I'll show you my fit. This is my jacket that I thrifted, actually. How stunning. This was $50. I also got another one, but I'm not getting it till later this week. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. Great finds on Facebook Marketplace, by the way. All right, we just had dinner, right but look how... <laughs> no, 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 look how cute it is. <laughs> Stop, look how cute it is here. Oh, uh, Santa Claus. Look how gorgeous. These just didn't think it was a real treat. They I was shocked. Fake. Who are you calling I'm a bitch? <laughs> I'm shocked that it's not. Look how stunning it is it's here. It's so Christmassy. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm actually heading to the Melrose Trading Post um, and I'll take you guys along, but that will have to wait for the next vlog. I will see you in the next video. I love you so much. Make sure to leave things better than how you found them. Bye.